I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubt. <laughs> So after spending a fantastic time in South Africa, we were heading off to Botswana to experience the wide open spaces. Luckily the next shipment of reusable sanitary pads arrived in Joburg in time and we could collect it and repackage it before we hit the road north heading into Botswana. We spend a half a day in Gaborone sorting out logistics before going to Central Kalahari Game Reserve. Okay. So it's the 1st of August and we are approaching Central Kalahari Game Reserve. Um, first bit of intense sand driving that we've done since the start of our trip. We're still able to do it in two wheel drive, but it's got a bit of work. I fall soon okay, because yeah, it's a bit more work now than it was the first kilometer or two. So we will show you guys what we find in Central Kalahari. Early in the morning in the Central Kalahari Game Reserve, raining very so lightly. I'm making coffee for Karin. It's about 6.30 I think. She's still snoozing. I wanted to show you guys the beautiful sunrise and moonset, but it's very overcast. So unfortunately I can't show you that. The birds are just starting to wake up. <coughs> it's very quiet. Um, in my work life I would have never gotten up this early. Now I do it with quite a bit of pleasure. Um, it's nice that it's not as cold as it is in Cape Town at the moment and previously on our trip so it's a, quite a bit easier getting up this early now we can hear the birds slowly waking up we've had a very chilled relaxed time enjoying the scenery in the Central Kalahari Game Reserve. The sunsets was one of the most astounding things that we experienced in Central Kalahari. We also had some amazing wildlife viewings, like the honey badger, which was a first for me. Very close to the road and totally relaxed. Most of the animals seems quite relaxed with cars. Another rare sighting was the couple of cheetahs at the Seption Pan. They were a bit more nervous of our presence and moved on after about five minutes. After three glorious and very relaxed days, our time ended in Central Kalahari and we headed off to Baines Bobabad. On the way there, we assisted some French tourists in their rental and pulled them out of a hole and they nearly hit my car when they reversed in the excitement to get out of the hole. But they were extremely grateful of our assistance and rewarded Karin with a bottle of wine from Cape Town for the help. Then we headed across the salt pans to Baines Boabab. The enormity 
of these trees is an awesome sight and is well worth the ride through the rough and sandy roads with the salt flats stretching out around them. Paint Boabab should be on your bucket list. Come and slow down and get inspired by these sights. Next time on Fearless on Four Wheels, we head out to Kubu Island and Ufudu has a small breakdown. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, support us on Patreon and like our videos.